Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Welcome, Murphy. Welcome, Chris. Let's chat for a couple minutes. So, I believe we just have to go back up to the top of the chateau to get our formal mission going. And then, uh, if there's people that would like some spells named after them, uh, we'll be doing so, I think, after that. I did miss, I think, asking Gray. I thought I would catch him after the stream, but ended up not doing so. But we'll make sure to give Gray a spell. Well, the soundtrack seems to pause constantly. That's going to drive me wild later. An actual madness chat. Well, too late now, soundtrack. I don't know why you have like eight second pauses in you. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. I really just want to see the moment of truth. Are we going to have to be forced to watch the intro again? Do I have to skip it? <laughs> Let's see, Chad. I'm officially at a tutorial. Please do not make me have to skip the tutorial video every time I start the game up. Let's watch. Dramatic drum roll. I'm out of the tutorial. I should not get any videos, hopefully. You've got to be kidding me. They really want you to see that intro chat. Listen. That that was a design choice. I don't know why. I know, I don't... I, I don't know what the philosophy was behind that. Like, did they just not believe in autoplay? Like, what would- I don't understand what the purpose was. Oh, oops, they said his room. His room was to the left. Oh, that was such a good slide. Billion says, I'll tell you about the mission. Are your preparations complete? I'll say I'm ready. We'll have you all come along on our first mission. First mission is to join up with another ARMS member. Another comrade? Who could that be? Where do we meet up? I will show you. The other party already knows you're coming. All you have to do is go there and meet up. Understood. Oh, Bashley, could I see your weapon? It could be anyone. It would be, it actually would be really funny if it was not the third party member we played earlier. It's just like some random kid. My weapon? We expect there to be fighting at the meeting point. We want you to be prepared for anything. You seem to be keeping this in good shape. What was that shot? What happened? This man is a traitor. Arrest the treasonous Bashley. Girl 2, here are your orders. You will escort the prisoner Bashley. Escort him to the prisoner of uh, the prison island of Ilsvale. <laughs> It'll be named anyone if we get a name. We probably haven't finished naming all the characters. Like, we're joking about it, but like, seriously, we still haven't gotten the third party member inside the prisoner convoy vessel. Villain turn villain real quick. Yeah, that's true. Well, I guess we're gonna delay it. So, okay, so who, let's see. Let's let's make a list so I remember it for next time. So we need Gray. We'll say Toriel probably should have one. Murphy. We're in the backlog of spells. Definitely help me. Can you forward from here? Shoot, why did this happen to me? Well, if only you didn't trust Bill Ain. Gets arrested off a JRPG bingo, that's true. But surprisingly, we were arrested in a town. 
that that to me is the, that to me is the plot twist normally it's like you enter a town and get arrested this time we entered someone's house that wasn't in town and we got arrested that that's the twist open up let me out of here i didn't do anything if you check it out i'd be cleared Everyone says they're innocent when they hear they're being sent to Illsvale. I'm assuming it's Illsvale, because, I mean, to me, I don't see a difference between the I's and the L. Oh, no, I do. Wait, how does... Wait. Oh, uppercase. So, uppercase I and L don't have any difference in the typeface. Nice. <laughs> it basically it looks like they're being sent to 111 Svale. <laughs> That's what it looks like when I read that. I'm telling you, chat. That's because it's an isolated prison island. Once you go in, you never come out. The font is a disaster. I'm like, where are my serifs, chat? I need... I need to distinguish between uppercase I and L and one. The fact that they all look the same is kind of crazy. Ashley. From the beginning, he planned to trick me. <laughs> to be honest, the font here isn't too much better. A little bit. A little bit. I think the I think the problem with it more too is that uh, unlike like the Twitch chat or the equivalency of the on-screen chat, at least the letters are properly spaced. <laughs> at least the letters are properly spaced. Like even when I read the word from, like just um forms its own conglomerate. Like look at it. It is not an easy read, let me tell you. From the beginning, he planned to trick me. Don't worry. When we get to Illsville Prison, I'll prove your innocence. You need to be patient until then. Exactly. You know, for a moment there, I actually had to think, if you put the R and the N together for Gurning, I had to think about that, Murphy. I like that. Ashley dot 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 dots, of course. He's not impressed about the font conversation we're having. Hey, almost there. Oh, get out. Use your eyes on the lovely Illsvale prison. Wait. Wait, where were... Wait, hold on. We weren't... They said we're gonna get there. What were we transporting in? Are we in a ship? I was just trying to think, like, physically, like, what mode of transportation we were in. Like, wait a minute. I guess that was a ship? Because it's, like, an island? Warden says, Do you hardened criminals so despised by the pu- I mean, look at that D, Jesus. S so despised by the public. Welcome to Illsvale Prison. As the first convict here. I'll now- I'm now ruler of this independent domain. In other words, I'm the warden. What? I don't- What? As all you criminals are able to see, Illsvale is an isolated prison island. In other words, it's a natural fort. Town, I'm getting real, uh- I, I, I'm getting Shadowheart vibes from it, but not not the good not the good Shadowhearts the third game a little bit. Well, it isn't terribly hard for you convicts to get here. It's impossible to get out alive. I feel like I'm back in Alcatraz, Chad. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Once you're used to it, the life here isn't too bad. Being on the outside isn't so hot. Here you here you travel only useless fools. Again, I had to reread that sentence. How about spending your remaining years enjoying yourself here? The longer you're here, the better your life will be. I've got 214 years left on my sentence. Hope you don't have fantasies about escaping yet. And of course, if you win my favor, becoming prison warden isn't a dream. The fact that this island is an independent domain stems from that very fact. <laughs> And this seems like a really bad idea. If you want people to remain on the prison, why are you having prisoners run it only? Like, it's one thing if it's like some people in the prison are running things as prisoners, but like the warden is a prisoner. I'm like, couldn't they just escape at some point? <laughs> anyway, I need to go explain everything to warden. Oh my gosh, that letter. Dokian? I guess it was Dokian. Let me, let me take care of it. You should stay put and lay low. 
Best to take these things slow. So, you used to stuff like this? Well, sort of. When I was little, I pulled a lot of pranks and got locked in the closet for it. Wow, that's too bad. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just taking in the dialogue chat. It's certainly something. Regardless, we were disarmed and now I have no weapon. No intention of doing anything drastic. Okay, so they're informing me I don't have my equipment. But how do I explain it? Also, I wouldn't forget we went to Alcatraz and Shadow Hearts 3. It's true. If I really wanted, I could use my magic to blast through in a second. No, no, it's not me. But we can use this. Definitely, I'll retrieve your confiscated weapons. Lay low and patient, she says. Adapt to your circumstances. Hmm. Girl 2. Thank you for earlier. You tried to cheer me up, right? Dot, 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 dot. Be careful. Okay. So if I'm point blank, I can rapid fire that. Look at that. The three winning areas have been closed by the security system. I don't know. Kill it anyway? What? Your system was killed. Number three winning area is open. Fireball! Fireball indeed. That is dialogue choices. Okay. Assuming I need to go. Oh. Well, that was just rude. Thanks, I guess. Oh, there were actually items in here? Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, nothing like in the waiting area, you just have like an armed sentry. It's not like it goes anywhere else. What the heck was the point of that? Other than just to be rude. I'm, I'm questioning the design philosophy of this prison. Also, I'm so glad we got HP up, by the way, before I came here. She's like one level off of getting something useful. Yeah, sadly it looks like her melee is already useless. I was hoping to at least like two shot something with her, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I uh, will dango them, see how it goes. Yeah, but please stop rotating. Oh, actually they do die in two hits. Never mind. I thought they were gonna have like 80 plus health. Never mind. That's not too bad then. Well, I'm gonna G Angel ourselves so we have HP. I'll take a little bit of damage, but being below 100 doesn't really make sense when we can heal that much. Well, I guess the melee upgrade kind of works, but not really. What we really needed was an AoE spell. Which hopefully next time we get a spell upgrade, we can go do that. Or see if one of the other spells does that, like in Parameter's spell, for example. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna iframe through things. Now we can turn this off, right? A D259 in the prison block. Release the guard creatures immediately. Press the rebelling now. Inmates wanted dead or alive. Repeat. Okay. I'm assuming I had to face tank that. So I did try to run by it and they shot me anyway, just for clarity. Hmm. I I I I guess I should have seen prison maze coming, but it's still What in the heck is that? Are we being attacked by Diglett? What's going on here? What what pray tell is this thing's name? Beast Pillar. Okay, can we leave? I really don't want to do this encounter. Alright, well we're gonna have to spend a turn healing, sadly. Okay, I am really, really hurting for AoE spell.
this okay i will i will say i did not expect to go down to just one party member so this also kind of sucks like i i the, the the boy character is ready like if he had to solo something i don't think it matters her soloing really sucks i just like to stay i guess they're trying to make her xp catch up to the other guys or something what was the design choice to make us do this this early So we're we're gonna be here a while because she does not kill things quickly at all. Her spell is like a t 10 to 15 second animation. We are not getting through this quickly. I mean, at least the other thing doesn't seem to attack very often. We'll go for a simple heal and then we'll move. In case I gotta tank four shots. Mostly just looking to see if we could get the equipment back. Then I don't mind re-exploring room. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, I barely remember how to get back. We're taking so many turns at this point. Thinking of which. Okay, so we can't get by him. <laughs> I'm glad that we're just getting straight up attacked by an assault rifle, by the way. Okay, so this is not the way to go. So where do you want me to go is the question. I think we came from there. Is there another door up here? No. Okay, so we okay, so we can't go up the okay. So I guess I go down the path. Please stop with these encounters. I, re I really don't want them with just one party member. There's so many monsters. <laughs> Chat, no. I don't want to do this. I don't have any AoE. This is going to take so long. <sighs> this is the kind of stuff I was looking to not have to do today. I have no patience for her. I do one spell at a time. The animation is like 10 seconds long. I get like no XP. And if I just had the other character, it'd be over in like literally a quarter of the time. It's so painful. Once we have a full party, I want to recheck some of the rooms. As I said before, I think there's like shenanigans going on with the item check. I think it's like very jank in this game compared to Wild Arms 1. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like if you're not like perfectly lined up with it, we don't get it. Like I'm surprised we only got one item, for example, in the locker room. Like even though I looked at I'm pretty sure every single locker, I am almost 100% certain there was another item in that room, for example. But I don't want to walk back there until I have a party member. And I think some of that, like, 
is my fault for not checking, but I'm pretty sure I checked every single spot. It's not very generous with the detection, sadly, compared to the other game. Because normally I don't have trouble finding items when we play this game, but I feel like in this one, like, I went through that whole other town and didn't come across an item. And there's other times where, like, I've definitely looked at what I've confirmed, but because I'm, like, not physically lined up with it, I don't receive it. So it would not surprise me if there's more in that other room. Alright, so... I think I just back out for now. There's nothing I could do in here. That was just kind of a waste of time. Oh boy, I don't remember which way we were, because I had to rotate the camera. Another reason I don't like rotating the camera. Um... Okay. Okay, so I can destroy those. I just got unlucky in the other room. It does not help the hallways look very similar. I think this is a new path, even though this looks exactly like the other hallway, and I think the difference is the consoles on the other side, I think. Symmetry is not helping me. Oh, is it going to live because of the strength deed? No, I have to use magic. Unless, maybe I can just melee kill it still? Maybe. Okay, good. Because that attack is so much faster than the spell animation. You have no idea, chat. I do not want to sit through like a 10 second ice spell. I don't mind the damage of it, but... When you're by yourself, it's a big waste of time. So open up another waiting area. The strange contraptions keeping the door closed. There we go. Well, I angled that origin. I guess I could just go here. So we're gonna open another console. Hopefully this will at least lead to either another party member or our equipment. I don't like that you put me in a save room. <laughs> right chat? I'm like that that actually didn't feel that didn't fill me with comfort. I'm like, please don't make me fight a boss with just this character. Is that a monolith? It's a monolith. But she's still pretty far behind in terms of levels. Very. I bet this is the confiscated equipment. What? What? But did Ashley use a mechanical glove like this? Oh, who cares? Take it all and something will work. Jail card acquired. Okay, so now I could go back. I think since I'm here, it's worth exploring again. There's nothing to do. Wow, this hallway doesn't lead anywhere. That's disappointing. Oh, you bet, chat. I'm mashing that button to skip encounters right now. <laughs> like, every time the run is active... Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I'm not a big fan of, like, purely 3D games. Like, see how annoying it is to see, like, where your character is relative to things? That's that's why I was kind of preferring the 2D versions of a lot of these dungeons, so I don't have to constantly mess with the camera to figure out where I am. Oh, right, we didn't take care of those. At least that's a good way to see that I may or may not have been here before. How's our health looking? It's okay-ish. Safety heal. Eventually, we're gonna get in this encounter. Alright, so now that I'm here, I'm just gonna double check because I thought I checked each of these. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, 
unfortunate. Small defense increase, I guess. I must have just, like, clipped the edge of the turret. I don't think the defense really matters, to be honest, but I'll, I'll, I'll wear it, I guess. If it was, like, plus 10, I think it would matter, but... Go forward from here. Special keys needed to open the lock. Okay, so, do you need me to use the item manually? Also, I just realized we never... Never used these. There we go. I think that's the first time I've had to open the inventory to use an item. For, uh, plot reasons. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Here, take this! Wow, you brought so much. Mechanical gloves are my gloves, right? Oh, they aren't mine. I didn't understand. So what could I have done? I didn't understand. So what could I have done? I feel like that's a translation issue. Anyway, here, put this on, hurry. We need to get out of here quickly. Okay, great job. Don't look over here. Oh, come on. Oh, I guess because he's getting changed. The noise we heard earlier was a mass jailbreak. Seems that all the convicts here escaped at once. Mass jailbreak, is that possible? I mean, it's very likely. They only have a single... It seemed like they had one warden and no jail guards. Preparation's done. We're off. Presumably we got items for the character we don't have yet. I can maybe give him the other thing once we find him. So I'm guessing what happens is now that I have Ashley, I throw the dagger at the guard. So I can't think of why else I would need Ashley. Oh, I'm mashing that skipping counter chat. You bet I am. Oh, like, no thanks. We're gonna go back this way. Okay. Well, we have one super power level character because we're getting the 60 XP kills. They're doing a lot of magic damage, which isn't the worst. My magic defense is actually okay, due to how I did it earlier. Ashley should hopefully just one-shot this. Thank you. <laughs> right, chat, the time saver. Alright, so now it doesn't really matter what I do with girl 2. Honestly, I'm half tempted to just leave her on auto. Honestly, actually, yeah, I should probably just leave her on auto. Oh. Oh, it's an all or nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I guess. Never mind. Manual's still here. Um. I'll tell her whatever normal means. I don't feel like controlling her. Her damage is not relevant. When we're at a boss, I'll turn it off, hopefully. It felt like I just brained him with that knife. Like, that knife just went straight to his skull. Kind of ridiculous. Aw. Oh, instant encounter. Girl 2 must fight alone. What? That can happen? Why? But why, though? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that I... That I hate. What? That I absolutely hate. Okay, so I can hit the cancel button to get control of her, hence the blinking name. That is really annoying. I really don't like that. I don't like that. 
I really hate that as a mechanic, actually. I was I was trying to be positive about the game, but I really hate that. Is this gonna happen in later dungeons? Am I gonna be Okay, so they do eventually show up. That is gonna be so garbage and like bonus dungeon. Could you imagine, chat? Like I'm sitting there and I have like this sad mage character trying to solo the absolute BS of like a hard dungeon. And it's like, haha, you game over because we made you fight three targets with the only character that can't tank hits. Yeah, that is honestly one of the worst gimmicks I've seen in a while. Jeez, that's super bad. I I don't like that for many reasons, but that's the easiest one I can think of. So we, so we saw one guard. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me! It was t turning towards me, and it was hidden behind the pillars too, which is ultra rude. That's annoying. Cool. I I love hiding things with the camera. That's really fun as the player to deal with this. Right, Chan? They're just like, oh, you trying to run? Take like a million damage. Yes, by the way, die. Whoa! And it encountered me right, right in between these two. I'm gonna take so much damage now. This sucks. She, her damage is irrelevant again. Alright, we're receiving an okay amount of cash. In case I need to upgrade the other guy's arm. I'm about to take like a million damage here, by the way, because I was literally in between two different targets. It's just super rude. Wow, he's at 311 HP. What an actual beast. Thank you, game. I appreciate the constant turrets everywhere. I definitely don't hate that a lot as a gimmick. hate aiming like that. I really do. Need my free aim back. Can we turn this off? Confirmation number of trespassers believed to have caused the inmate insurrection. Trespassers are two armed men. They're currently hiding somewhere in Illsville. Okay. Yeah. I oh, come on. I slid into it due to the dash. That sucks. Man, Chad, this dungeon gimmick is really annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It's just constant things that stop me from running. On top of... Just horrible nonsense. So, the key... The console saying gibberish. Oh no, why'd this have to happen now? Well, we found our other party member. I guess I'll use a heal berry on both characters. I just destroy the console. Hmm. Oh, unless I unless I didn't use jail card, maybe I still oh, I still have it. Okay, never mind, we're good. Aren't you gonna run away? Isn't her dot dot dots us? Were you sent by Vili? What? I'm asking you. Were you sent by Vili? Do you know Vilain? 
Dot, 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 dot. We're not communicating well here. But it has to be you guys. How can you say that with certainty? You're stupid. Why are we asking of these things? We've got such a baby face for someone locked up in here. Uh, thanks? Did I say something to offend you? Those mic gloves are mine. Did you hand them over? There's no time, right? Who the heck are you? Death row inmate number 666, the Star Sevens. I'm one of the arms members chosen by Villain. Let's go. Ooh, he joined us at level seven. Ooh, I messed up his potential HP. That's unfortunate, actually. So they did scale him with us. So I got punished for power leveling, Bashley. That's kind of unfortunate. So he's going to be down HP for the rest of the game by a couple levels. So Hammer Fist is an upgrade. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Let's make him really tanky, I guess. I can just remove them from the party. That's kind of funny. Um, I think it really matters here. Assuming I just kick the console. Ga 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 ga. That a reference to Soccer Frontier? Security system has been deactivated. Number one in winning area is open. No, there's no way our party's complete. I, we we need at least two more party members. Oh, it's just aiming at me. Cute. A carrot. A berry. A apple. Nothing else in here. Okay. Hmm. But sadly, I think this character's gonna level again, is what I'm saying. I don't think I can avoid another level up. I think between this and the probable us killing the warden, uh, there, there's a pretty high chance he's gonna level. On the plus side, I should take, like, basically zero damage, yeah. I don't really care what these characters do. We should just one-shot at this point between these characters. Small weapon upgrade, plus... Girl 2 to do damage. Yeah. So we'll use the rest of our money to maybe upgrade his other ability. I'm gonna just kick the door in, right? Assumption. Uh, it feels like I'm coming up to boss time. Let's turn it off. Death row inmate number 666. I can't believe it. Even you're thinking of escaping this paradise. Sorry, Warden. <clears throat> I'm more at home on the battlefield than in paradise. Thanks for everything. It's way out of hand. You've given me no choice. Arrest them! Arrest them! And after that, death! Death! I can't keep up with you. Instead of getting me to say cruel things, I should do it myself. What? Chao, Neem! Come here! Go catch my valuable little convicts! I hope I didn't miss an item. I hope I can come back here. I'm actually really worried I just missed an item. That's actually really gonna bother me. Okay, it, 
if we beat this and then I have to, we are immediately leaving this place, I will probably reset, to be honest with you. Because we didn't save before coming here. I saved like a while back. But it could be like a crest or something could be in the other room. I really hope we don't automatically leave. We're doing big damage to the claw. I don't, don't even care what she does, to be honest. Where she gets targeted. <coughs> Uh... He never got his ammo restored from before. Interesting. There we go. Destroyed the claw. She can heal herself. But I think this fight is basically over. Chew up. There we go. Django, shot, one bazooka shot. See how much damage we do here. How, how did he miss? I put it at like 91%. Game, please. <laughs> right, chat? I feel like there's just a certain amount of expectation where like you should just not miss. That is just so sad. Also, I love that the boss is so tall that I couldn't see the initial animation. Why is she the only one being targeted, by the way? Wow, I can't believe we missed that. Sadly, I... Oh, do I really want to restart to check for the crest? That's all I'm thinking about right now. I'm not thinking about this boss battle. This boss battle is autopilot. Man. That is so annoying. It's all dependent on if it's a cutscene. I'm really hoping it's not a cutscene into instant escape. <laughs> if it is, that's a problem, because I definitely miss whatever's in there. Robot hates girl too, definitely. He's literally not targeted anybody else, it's kind of silly. Try robbed. I'm gonna use my last bullet here. Like, I feel like I'm doing decent damage, but this last form is kind of tanky. Okay, done. Pretty good DXP, 900 money, girl had leveled, thesaurus leveled, big berry acquired. I just want to know. <laughs> I will pause the playthrough to look if we can come back here. Ah, oh, to say I'm stupid is a major insult. Whoa! I with glasses says, no, no, that's not right. Who? This ridiculous handling of things isn't at, at all right. Oh, uh, I think I'm not going to get a chance. This ridiculous handling is... You understand now. Oh, there's some weird stuff going with the translation. Oh. 
Okay, I just did a quick look up because I don't feel like coming back here. There is something there, and I can revisit later. Okay. I'm gonna make a note that I gotta revisit. Which is really, really unfortunate because, again, like... I, it's either I, I... I'm basically gonna be down a spell for a while, unfortunately. But I don't really want to replay like 40 minutes of gameplay to do that again. Sorry. This, it's because think about it. That was the last time I saved was Girl 2 with the equipment, because I didn't get a single save other than till that point, unfortunately. Where if they just so if they had put a save point before the boss that I can't miss, I would have been fine and I would have reset. Just saying, chat. This, this is why this is why in level design you don't put save points really far out of the way if you want people to not miss things. Let's hurry this way. This way. Where do you plan on going? The boat docks. Haven't you heard the plan? We haven't been told anything. Yeah. If if we couldn't return, I would have I would have reset uh, begrudgingly. Welcome, Kirk. I waited a bit, but looks like we've finally been able to we've finally been able to meet safely. This is everything is going according to your plan. Is that what you were hoping? Well, there were some changes. I don't think anyone would object if I said getting Thesaurus out of Isfil was a success. What was my rationale like as the chief? What? As the peop as the one who oversees other people, the first thing you need to do for the people is trust your team. It won't permit you to move us around like pawns ever again. Next time I'll keep that in mind. Do you mind handing me my crutches? I can hardly walk without them. Welcome, Kurt. Hey, what is it? Was the inmate insurrection part of the plan as well? Or was that merely a coincidence? How would I know that? Well, actually. He did with his crutches, something like that. Besides us, who else has business here in Illsvale? Are we really gonna get to say sayonara to this hell? One eye giant says, yup, with the added bonus of reemployment. <clears throat> It doesn't seem adequate, but I'll let it go. Time to withdraw. Okay. What's wrong? Hmm? Ah. Uh. Now we have all three members selected for operations. Oh, I just realized, if I level too much, then that means the other characters are also going to have less HP. Mm. I will say, chat, I really don't like that in RPGs. I, one of the big reasons I got really annoyed with Final Fantasy VI and restarted that multiple times is the fact that it was like, I kept thinking I had all the party members, and then it was like, here's another party member, oh, here's something that if you had waited a bit longer, you could have had more stats. I really don't like- I don't like that as a gameplay philosophy. That really bothers me. Please do not suggest ga games where they have stuff like that. Like, it's one thing in, like, Valkyrie Profile Hard Mode, where everybody comes in at level 1 and you can't really mess them up, quote-unquote. But it is really annoying if they scale with my level, and then it's like the character is essentially useless, because they've been missing out on, like, constant stat upgrades as we level. A, a little unfortunate Wild Arms does that, because that does actually bother me. Like, pers it personally bothers me a lot. I don't like that when I play games. Now we have all three members selected for operations. Now arms can finally begin to fulfill its true nature. Like, if the other things were just, like, learn extra abilities and get resistances, that would have been fine. I just wish nothing was tied to stats. That makes sense. True mission? Yes. The threat is almost upon us. Disaster is on a worldwide scale that only you can stand against. That is why ARMS was created. Why would you put a prisoner like me in ARMS? I'd love to hear your explanation. Simply put, it's your superior fighting style. 
Thesaurus Evans. Hero of the Slayheim Liberation Army. Expecting great things of you. If I did try something, what would happen? I have prepared for that. Honda Roestra Amethos. What? Those words. The release code for Gies. The mini bomb embedded in your neck? What? Well, that escalated quickly. If you do decide to try something, or if you try to take Gies off your neck, boom. You've thought of everything. This is a dog collar that turns me into your little chess piece of control, is it? Even the insignia looks like a dog collar. I love the zoom in on the image, in case you didn't see it. Our dog of law and order. Is that what I am now? Exactly. Wait, is that what I am now? Exactly. He answered his own question? What? But since we serve no one country, we never become the pawn of a country. Too bad. Band of dotards, children, and escaped prisoners. We're more like stray dogs than your pawn of a country. Ashley says, the stray dogs of arms. I heard beeping sounds, and then he goes, it's me. That you, Kate. Okay, I see. Love to check it out. Now for your new mission. Haven has occurred in the underground trade route called the Under Traffic, south of here. Closing of the trade route is harming people's livelihood. You must help them. But our mission would be a little bit more important. No more like a bureaucrat than a soldier. It is a fine mission, girl, too. Our purpose is to aid people. Sorry about what happened before. Don't worry about it. I guess I was a little out of line. You want to make it up to me. Take this. Huh. What is this? Portable communicator. Like the new menu item hall to open up a direct line to us here. you make use of it. Thanks. Let's go, Bashley. Okay, I don't want to proceed. Okay, so I don't want to proceed with the plot yet. I want to go make sure we get our HP ups, like, immediately. And then, uh, let's go name some spells after people, I suppose. Can't do anything with that. Uh, where was the other exit? I guess I'll save over the other thing for now. Yeah, I just really did not. If we had saved with three people or even two people, that would have been fine. The fact that it was like she was back at level four, like, I don't know, Chad, I don't feel like replaying that part. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really missing the warp spell right now. Because I can't use items while I'm in here, right? The uh, gem. Super unfortunate. Because I don't feel like teleporting to town here, because I I'm just gonna. It's not that far. I don't feel like wasting a gem on that. At most, I would get an a like a singular encounter. I don't think I really care. You've got to be kidding me! I hit the button to cancel it, and also hit X to enter the town, and I got denied both. So unfortunate. Can we just leave. I really don't want to give them more fights. Good. All right, Chan. I'm waving my finger. I like. Was I, like, on the pixel to enter town? You've gotta be kidding me! 
that that was unlucky chat the frame the frame i would have left to go into the down i got attacked that is so unlucky wall also still hitting square by the way i missed time one of the presses i guess that is so unlucky we lost a decent amount of money there we did restock our bullets Let's go rename some spells, I guess. But right, so let's erase the crest graph. Honestly, I'm gonna keep Guardian Angel. I don't think I need. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I need yet. I think we just need more crests. Let's see. We got Shield, Air Screen, G Angel. Give Ray the protect spell. Okay. Sadly, I gotta do this to rename the spells each time. Like Spidey's there. I feel like Toriel could be a good revive spell. This is going to be an interesting memorization game for me later. Okay, let's see, we got Reflect. Got Quick. RJ Chaos in last time. My brain was like not translating <laughs> what these letters were, I'm not going to lie. It's like, what am I looking at? I don't understand. Okay. We just, we'll probably get one in like an upcoming dungeon at least. That's two. Then we need one for health leave. Do we have any offensive spells left? We do. between magic defense and the other one. Did. He ups physical attack power single. Do we, okay, so I'm, I'm confirming we don't have any multi-targets still. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll definitely give help we be quick. Would like a more AoE spell to go to help leave eventually. to be here. I just need to remember to use the next battle. Although, to be fair, mostly just use arms until the boss died. I don't know. We'll see. There's possibly other party members that would benefit more from the strength ups. So he's one level away from getting a new thing. Everybody else is pretty close. She also kind of overshot a little. So pretty much one boss battle will put me at the point that I need to go back again. But at least I'm getting bonus HP, because HP seems important. I don't think a lot of the other things matter, but having enough HP to survive the AoEs, or not needing to heal twice, is kind of huge. Right, so he gave us a communicator, right? Is it like an event item? Hmm. Yeah, 
imagine it's somewhere along here. under traffic. Like the explosive crate. Can I just blow it up with knife? No. I kick it? He's very dangerous. I guess I can kick it, but I can also blow it up with fireball. We do have a combination of things to do here. Okay, we're learning. That's fine. Is there anything hidden here? Really? like a little rock there, but I don't know how much that actually benefits us. Oh, we can't blast through that rock. Okay, I understand now. Alright, so only if it's like a little itty-bitty rock will blow up. Got it. So... Do I even need to touch that other one? I do, right? I just kick it along the side here. I mean, it's very slow. Like, I could kick the other one to the right and then that up, but then they might hit each other. Hmm. Hello, new enemy type. attack for now. Hopefully, as I said before, where he should be in one-shot territory. That's good. Yeah. Uh, 64 is actually not bad damage-wise. It's not as good as 151, but, like, if they only have, like, 100 HP, that's not too bad. So I think... It wants me to kick it over here. Assuming I can still kick it upwards from here. I I don't honestly don't know what the point of that other crate is yet. So we'll find out. I think I needed it. I'm assuming that was the solution. I mean, that's what I came up with, but whatever. Okay, so there's a blocked off passageway. Hmm. <laughs> we just drown? Okay. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> we just accepted our fate and descended into the depths. <laughs> we didn't even try to swim. We just went blah, 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 dead. Oh, man. Uh... Oh, maybe this is like a... Maybe I kick off of the rock here. Oh. I mean, I still left us drowning. <laughs> I was honestly like, thinking about that. Okay, so I have, like, a couple places I could go, in theory. I do love that we just kind of drowned instantly, though. That was amazing. Can I open this up? Hmm. Oh, 
hold on, before I go any further, I'm assuming if I do this, it resets the room. Oh no, it permanent. Okay, good, good. So I want to see what's in the other corner. Oh, those don't reset. Oh. That's... not good. Can I go backwards from here, or did I just lock myself out of treasure? Oh, I can still go this way. I did not check over here. Yeah, there's a chest over here. Multi-blast acquire. Multi-blast is a bayonet cartridge for use by Bailey. Enemies use provides new animation for the bayonet. Attack the enemies using these special shells. Okay. Good arm multi-blast. I see what that did. Oh, I finally have an AoE attack. Oh, okay. I was expecting that we'd get a little further in the game before that happened, but... Whatever, at least we have our boss kill thing. It doesn't really matter which way I exit, to be honest. But we'll exit over here, just because. There we go, we got more bullets. So I got my crowd clear versus my normal attack. I think right now it doesn't matter. Sadly, I think it's just one of those games where it's probably faster just to auto-attack and clear a battle, even though it only hits one at a time, rather than actually use the abilities. They're just so slow. We call that, like, the Final Fantasy VII Syndrome, where by the time you finish a summoning animation, you might as well have just done anything else and it would have been faster. Yeah, I think I'm going to be a very auto-attack focused build, sadly. At least for now. me to pick this. I just blow up the other passageway. Assuming this is a real place I could go to. Okay. We got Moonstone. Oh, there we go. We got a cross. Get for a third party member if you try Hans. I don't know what that means, but welcome. Nullifies. I'm assuming that's poison and deadly poisons. I'm assuming deadly poison is the thing here. Oh yeah, so we can finally get another spell slot, which is good. Question is, four accessories here. I guess I just have her not get poisoned? It's already got low HP. Uh, so we don't have to back up that far at least. Hmm. We just have a lot of crate puzzles currently. So I think what I can do here is I think it wants me to walk across them to make progress. But I think I could just also blow this up to get access to the treasure. Oh, you're making a hand joke. Got it. Over here. Hopefully we've been doing well. Yeah, 
I did see a treasure over here. So before we walk across the bridge, let's see what this is. Map scope. If you flush select the world map, you'll be able to use the map scope. White dot is your character, nearby regions with your vicious in the center. Red dots are the map, or towns you already know. Yellow section from the other white dot is the map direction. I'll have to see why it keeps doing that. I think we were fine the first session, but something about the game itself gets a little weird. If running for too long, I guess. Or that encounter. Let's push this way. What am I doing health-wise? Fantastically. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I'll need to be at exactly full health, but just close is probably good enough. There we go. There's the save point. Now we're ready for a boss, potentially. That dungeon was okay. Oh, I didn't even notice this option. Hold on, what does he say if I call him here? I was the under trap. Pull in if you find anything. Okay, so we, we got like the Metal Gear Solid codec jokes potentially coming through there. Oh, hello. Someone has collapsed. We gotta help him. Oh. He'll be okay. Nothing like threatening. Can't leave him as is. Can you move him? Can't do anything drastic, but I'll give it a shot. The town of Maria and Valeria Chateau are too far away. What do you want to do? What? What the heck happened? Isn't that the communicator we just got from Villain? It's me. Give me a status report. Ashley here. It's been a cave in, but I think he will be okay with our help. He said he. What's going on? I'm a traveling salesman who was trapped in the. Haven. From here, it's too far to the Valeria Chateau. We're to the town of Maria. I want to put them down, yeah. And yet, we can't just leave them here. These communicators have a tracer feature. Hold on a sec. Da, 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 da. Good. You're near an exit that leads to the south through under traffic. From there, go southeast to Damzen. No mining town at the base of the mountain. A lot closer than Valeria Chateau or the town of Maria. We need to take the injured man there. Can you do it, Bashley? Roger, I'll do my best, sir. Hmm. Hang in there just a little longer. Damson City from here, it's southeast. Let's hurry. Okay, so, I guess we should explore the overworld a little bit. I haven't quite leveled. If we hit level 9, we have to go deal with that. I like how it was telling me select, but like, it it already does that? Why did it tell me to hit a button? You know what I mean, chat? The, the upgrade's automatic. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna say no. I, I like to not have to hit buttons for the map upgrade to occur, but... Oh, hello. Regella acquired, that was what we call not worth it. I think also why I was thinking of the other Shadow Hearts game chat is because we're in like the canyons and I was thinking of uh, pretty much where we ended the game last time. Okay, so not finding anything hidden so far. Aside from that three money, which is not worth it. I found the town. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go here. It, it's I was thinking it was going to be a bit further in, but I mean, if it's right there, I should probably get it. Yep, this place damns and used to be a hustle and bustle in mine town. Must be boring for you, though. I want to be careful how much we spend at the arm shop. Seriously? 
how lined up with them do I need to be? Do you see what I mean there, chat? That's an example where I'm talking about where I'm like... I feel like the game is not very lenient with uh, how you can activate like chat points. I think that was a great example right there where it was like... I, it felt like I was looking at him in one camera angle, and then I rotated it, and I was like, maybe a quarter of a step off? But it's not gonna talk to them unless I line up more. Right, so I haven't used any guns. Let's upgrade the power of Bazooka. Multi-shot is really inconsistent hit. I mean, I might as well pump it if I'm gonna use it. Hold on to the rest of my money for now. Okay. Let's try to do our best to explore crates and stuff like that, because it seems like that's where a majority of the items are. Otherwise, I think with our levels, I don't know if I really need to get another weapon upgrade, unless it's like really serious. I think as long as we level up our arms every now and then, we should be fine for a while. I don't really think defense is all that important, given how high it is. Maybe for the girl it is, but for everybody else, they're literally taking zero damage already. You can't really improve on zero. Uh, so that just leaves town. Right here, Mystic Word. Oh, that's our first book item. I think I recall what that icon is. So we could go here. I guess I'll give Poison Immunity to Thesaurus then, because he's got the most HP. There are at least some items, but as you can see, like, camera is not the most forgiving here. crouching, I was, like, clipping into the building. Hey, look at that. Ooh! We're, we're partially in the house. Become one. So, yeah, it seems like, in general, if we look for crates in towns and barrels... Also, I really can't, I don't have a sense of where the town exit is. Okay. I think I'm at the town exit. Something to do here. I can't jump up these. Man's face is something through the wall. Strange woman in costume says, Oh, you have the perfect face for it. Perfect fighting machine, ready to meet and overcome at any obstacle. Just perfect to back up Bashley, who sometimes lacks in bravery. Uh, okay. I don't know why she knows us and why we don't question that. I'm just triple checking that this doesn't have an item in there. This will be very sad. Nothing is in there. Gotta heal Barry. Talk to you. You come to this town to make a living, too. Information is the key to the success, I hear. Okay. Gunner's Heaven. That is the name of the cat, the saloon. There's nothing wrong with drinking at noon, thank you very much. You know, if you just get the booty call, finding treasure is as easy as it can be. <laughs> and another heal berry, at least. We came across the inn. the clinic it wants us to go to. Are there any other buildings of interest here that I should be aware of? But we'll probably go to the saloon first, because the person dying at our party doesn't really matter. Strangers just came and broke into the tower. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Who would break into places they don't belong in? We're generally good-hearted folks, but sometimes we aren't the most clever. You're telling me. You just let me in your house. Someone's up to no good. You should take care of him right away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Chad. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything to do in these buildings. Again, we're gonna take our time and... Figure out if there's any items anywhere. Because you... I can almost bet there's gonna be at least, like, one defense accessory we haven't found. Aside from the other book. Soul skills will be your best ally in battle. We want to acquire some more. Sadly, I don't think we leveled. 
much do we need to level? 67? That's not too bad. Hopefully you're doing well, Dango. Nothing there. It depends on your armor and weapons. Skimping on them means it'll, it'll stop you from being a real merc. Five extra damage. Kind of like, I think we could skip it. I'll be real with you. I think we're good. I think we're good, chat. Peppy Acorn. That is the name of an item. Um. Oh, anti paralysis. Get in my inventory immediately. I don't think I care. I think silence is probably the least impactful it's been in the entire game so far. I have like no reason. To I'll I'll take like literally one, and that's it. Everything else I don't think I care about. Confusion's kind of annoying. Let's cure that. Forgetfulness. I think stops you get from getting XP. It didn't really come up much in the other playthrough. I don't know what downhearted does. I'm assuming it just means I don't get like your gain or something. Anyway, the rest of our money could go towards arms. Let's not worry about it too much. Although, honestly, with how much I've been auto-attacking, I have wonder if I should have just, uh, upgraded the other weapons. If I two-shot, it doesn't really matter. I guess the question I should be asking myself is, what is the ratio of arm usage to auto-attacks? Right now, it's very lopsided towards auto-attacks. That's also just because our arms can't get upgraded easily. How... How... How did that not initiate a dialogue? What? Did you see what I mean, chat? <laughs> what was that? It... Conversation initiation, please. <laughs> I, I don't think I could have been more lined up than that. I, like, did they only talk to me on one side? Yeah, that interaction hitbox is something. I'm a Merku Wondersville guy alone. I love being alone. No one bugs me and I can do whatever I please. What? What? <laughs> she is a dead sp I have never seen an NPC with a dead spot like that before. I think that's a first for me. Only talk to me on my good side? I mean, that was... That was something. I don't think I would have thought that. Yeah, I would dot 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 that too. That was something. Nothing wrong. Oh, then we talked to you already. Let's go in the tavern. Maybe there's something in the tavern. Talking about the teleport gem sold at the item shop. Not the gem you can use to transport yourself instantly to towns you've already been to. First, I've never been to a town besides dams and cities, so such a thing wouldn't do me any good. Yes, you can only use it to bring you to towns the group's leader has been to. Be careful now. The group's leader has been to. Interesting. I wonder if that means I can't teleport with the prisoner some of the places. Although I did actually physically walk back to them, so maybe it doesn't matter. Well, just a little while ago, we had a good living mining empathite. Now that's all gone. Now there's nothing in the mountain that anyone could make a living off of. What do we do? Apparently I'll get Mitten. I mean, as long as she constantly gets upgrades here... Oh. Oh, they're not, they're not for her. They're just general gear. I mean, I don't think I really need defense, to be honest with you. 61 defense? Yeah, I'm so glad we didn't get more defense. Holy. I'm already taking zero. Like, it doesn't matter. I'm here looking for some way to make a profit, but I didn't know how dead this place was. Actually, you know what? Her magic resistance has not been important so far in this entire game. To be real with you, let's give him magic resistance. I'd rather she be tankier. Welcome, stranger. You want something to drink? Ask him if he knows anything. You know, I seem to have forgotten. If I come in here regularly, I might remember. Uh, okay. Is there a menu? The Berry Bari Chili Noon? Okay. 
and thirsty enough. You want to hear some good gossip? Northeast of Danson City is a strange building. Here you, you seem like you might be interested. Okay. I said learn a new location. I guess I could... Okay. I guess I learned of a bonus dungeon? I mean... I think I just ignored the plot, right, chat? <laughs> like, like, bye! The traveler's like, please! Please take me! Take me back to the city! I need- I'm dying! And we're like, no, no, shh, old man, it's fine. <laughs> we gotta go to some mysterious place. Exactly, hidden cave. Plot question mark. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I was gonna say, is it between the rocks? Was I just off by like a couple steps? I would like to hit level 9 before we do plot, regardless. Honestly, I wish I could just make the girl auto defend every turn. I don't think her damage matters, like, literally at all. So I think we'll continue to pump her full of vitality up, so that way equipment seems to do better with her. The other characters, I'm not convinced, can take damage at all. And even if they do, they, they have so much health that it just doesn't matter. Why did that do 273? I'm assuming that was the special attack. That was rude. Money, got a heal item. I guess I could heal. I prefer not to. Feels like it should be right here, right, chat? Wow, it's not there? That's that to me is the big surprise. Oh, it's over here? Oh, that's weird. Odd headquarters. Aiju card? Monster Cardo chat. What are you? What the heck is this? <laughs> Welcome to Odd Headquarters. Why do you have like a bulldog mascot thing? What is going on? Shop is convenient, but it's odd. Like that strange mascot doll. Um, okay, maybe this is like a monster encyclopedia place. Oh, there's a staircase here. What? Now oh, there's like a robot buddy. There's no response. Dead batteries? What? Well, well, what is the matter? You feel like changing your name? <gasps> Wait, we could change your name here? Oh, hold on, chat. Hold on. I believe it's been requested. Girl 2's gonna get a real name. She's gonna upgrade, chat. He's now Vicky, too. Like it? Like your new name? Come back whenever you feel like changing your name again. That's for chat. Being held closed by magic. Oh, maybe duplicators are a thing in this game. Alright, we'll have to remember to come back to Odd Headquarters later. Look like seasoned veterans. Here you can see as cards all the monsters you've destroyed. Want to see the cards? Monster Cardos, chat. Oh my. 342. Holy. That's a lot of enemies. She's a real person now. I don't know. Maybe it's an achievement if we get them all. I don't know. Okay. 
we'll do a little walking around to see if there's any other overworld items. So far, they've been pretty terrible. I'm not gonna lie. They've been pretty bad. Oh, I probably... There's probably the next location is supposed to be up here, but we haven't heard about it, so we can't find it because we're super blind. <laughs> right, chat? We are, we are Omega blind. Yeah, it feels like there'd be, like... I don't know, a building or something, like, right at the top there. Big flip. Back lead. Hopefully just dead body. So we basically just need to level and then I'll proceed. Because I don't want to go into a new dungeon when we're not level 9. With most of the characters. Okay, hit level 9 already. Good. Like we're too too far off. Other car other party members, I'm just gonna have to live with the fact that they're not gonna get it. I'd rather have the main characters fully leveled. So nothing of interest here. Hmm. Another beach area. Maybe there's something on the beach. I wish she would actually drop down from there. That would save me a lot of time. Castle continues to improve her sorcery. It's funny that Bashley has better sorcery than she does. I find that really funny though. So far, her magic has not been relevant. I think the moment she gets an AoE, she's gonna be a lot more relevant, but like right now, I don't super care. Oh. Lucky card? Oh, hey, lucky cards in this game. That. Presumably just doubles. Yeah, doubles XP and Gela. Okay, well, we, we've we learned from Wild Arms 1. I'm not touching this until the end of the game. <laughs> right, chat? We're going to use that to skip a lot of leveling later. You know, that's actually not a bad 3D effect for the water. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. We've seen much more boring and static water. using any of my bullets until we're in a dungeon. Yeah, we've got a boss killer move. Potentially I could use a shotgun if a boss has multiple parts to save some time. I could use the other one for just general combat, which is also fine. Because now that bosses, now that standalone bosses have parts, I guess there's more of a reason to have AoE stuff now compared to before. Yeah, our damage looks like it's so high that I don't really need the weapon upgrade. Alright, so two characters have hit level 9. How far away is she hit from hitting level 9? That's all I want to know. How realistic is it of me to hit it before we do the next dungeon? Is she like 100 away? Oh, 49? Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's, uh, I can't level in the meantime. Oh, I need 1,300 to level? Wow, that is a huge gap for the next level up. So, we just need, like, two more fights? That's not too bad. I could do that. Everybody will be at a nice, even level. See, so, yeah, I think we could skip this town's upgrades. We might be able to upgrade the arms. I mean, I made uh, the Saurus' damage go up by a lot by upgrading bazooka damage, although it runs the risk of missing without using FP. Which I guess I should probably do next time we're in a boss battle. Is she off by, like, 3 XP? How much did I say she needed? I don't think it was that much. That is so sad, chat, how close that was. Four. Yeah, we could do one more encounter, that's fine. And we need to do this before we go into town, because I need to get the HP up. Clarity. Again, things that would not normally happen <laughs> if you don't put stat-related things on the store. 
unfortunate. Oh, Thesaurus looks basically unkillable. Oh wait, she only hit level 8? Oh wait a minute. Oh, I forgot how much lower level she was. Oops, how much does she need to level? Uh, I don't think that's worth it. Never mind. I'll take the money, though. Yeah, let's proceed with the plot. After we get HP ups. Gallows pole. Where was the... Unless it was just the building next door. Oh, it was. Oh, well, I tried. But now I'll actually have to think about what of any of these do I actually want going forward. I don't think I care about healing on level up anymore. It would have been a nice natural ability, but it's like all these other ones. Guard probability. Maybe that one's worth taking. Counter attack might be solid. I don't think resistances are useful except for maybe that's damage from physical attacks. Oh, well, no, no, I can up my own damage here. Oh, that would be useful. Okay. I'll probably do these then. I'm just gonna up my stats. I don't think most of these other ones are super critical. Like, critical attack up might also be good. The question is, like, does that apply to just normal attacks or arm attacks? I always get into the question when I see, like, critical rate up. I'm like, does it end these other things crit? Like, we're too early in the game for me to have recognized whether or not it does. We've used arms, like, barely at all. We've barely seen any crits either. I say, this is a very empty clinic. Just walk back to the other position. What's this? An emergency? Yes, it's an emergency. Please help. Well, that's about all I could do. Boring. Damson at its... Damson's at the base of a mine, so I set broken bones all the time. So I'm hoping get a patient I could get more excited about treating. Ha ha ha. Well, sorry about that. Just a broken finger, it seems. Thank you so much for helping me. I don't know what could have happened if you hadn't all come along. Wait, he was... a chauffeur for a broken finger? It's okay, we're happy to help. Thought it was at least like a broken leg or something. Good thing we found you after the cave-in, though. It was definitely caused by... Caused on purpose by somebody, it, it seems. What do you mean? It's where I heard the sound of gunpowder exploding right before the roof came down. Also, I heard human voices. I'm almost sure of it. That cave -in was in just the right place to seal up the entrance. Be part of someone's plan. Hey, Bashley. That beeping just a couple minutes ago. Try con contacting Villain on the communicator. Hmm? Oh, okay. It's me, um. Valeria Chateau, come in. Um, the small voice says, Roger. This is Valeria Chateau. Whoa. Hey, who's this? Gosh, don't scare me like that. Oh, brother. Oh, no. The oh, dear chat. I'm sorry if I frightened you. Who on earth were they? Those were Kate and Amy. They were my operators. Oh, no. Not operators, chat. No. <laughs> chat, let me go on a very small tangent here. I don't like operators in like the the kind of military games. I don't bond with I don't bond with those characters. I find them more annoying than not. I hope they're not going to be like communicating with us in battle. Get more of this nonsense exactly. Just like I really don't like them as characters. I'm sorry. 
It's like they take me out of the game by hearing them constantly give advice, so I hope that they do not call us in battle or do other things. I hope they just end up being villains and we kill them later. That's <laughs> what my, my hope would be, chat. I'm like, I really don't want to deal with them constantly. Hello, this is Kate. Pleased to meet you. Hiya, I'm Amy. Together, we're A and K. Pleased to meet you. Uh, likewise, I'm sure. They're telepaths. Contact via Empathite would be impossible. Without them. It will be helping you from now on. And what did you want anyway? Oh yeah. You know the under-traffic incident? It was no accident. It was intentional. It sure looks that way. Elaine, what should we do? I want you to continue your search in the field. Roger. The under-traffic cave-in might have been intentional. There might be something in this town that can help us find out. Let's get started. I guess now I need to talk to everybody again. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, I guess I'll start with the house that didn't do anything before. Oh, broke into the town. Maybe that's all I need to know. So he said something about Telepath Tower. Ever since the cave monsters have been appearing there, we can't even approach it. Who are those people? There's four people, and they seem very dangerous, so be very careful of them if I were you. So the Telepath Tower is a broadcast tower that uses Empathite. Uh, but where is it? Not the damn zone, a broadcast tower. Okay, there we go. So, now we have a destination, so I guess we'll continue onwards. Oh, we're getting a phone call. It's me. What's your status? We found out two things. One, in Jameson City, we found out about a suspicious group. Two, they got into some sort of broadcasting tower called Telepath Tower. They may be involved in the cave-ins. Those incidents could be the work of a single group. When you detail that group, Telepath Tower is vital. Now that even these communicators will be useless. Understood. We'll head for Telepath Tower. Like, I think that's a perfect example of, like, why I don't like the communicators or, like, the, the role of people that are there as, like, the support roles. Like, did I really need to be told as a player, again, the information I just learned? Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, that really bothers me. This is why I don't like operators in video games. I'm like, yes, I understood it without somebody telling me. It, it's okay. I'm good. I'm gonna check up here briefly to see if I missed anything, and then we'll move on. We'll go back to the south. Sadly, we were surprised. Because, I mean, like, I could basically summarize what half of the operators in those kinds of games do. They're like, oh no! Look out! It's dangerous! Don't... Stay focused! Have courage! You can do it! You can defeat the enemy! Oh no, it's too powerful! We can't defeat that! And they just, like, never stop talking. It's like that for, like, so many games. Where they're like, I wonder what its weakness is! And you fought the enemy, like, 30 times. Like, I know. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm aware. I, I don't need your advice. Go away. Nothing over here. A lot of operators are what keep the game playable for 6 to 10 year olds, maybe. It's one thing if you call them, like, on your own to get, like, a recap of the plot. And I think that's fine. I just don't want to have them, like, I literally just did a cutscene where they, they told me literally explicitly what to do. I take 10 steps and we have a cutscene to talk about the thing that I just learned. Just don't think that kind of stuff is necessary. Alright, so there- I don't see anything up here, at least. Uh, disappointing. Yeah. I don't know. I guess when I play games, too, I like the sense of isolation most of the time. I just find it kind of irksome. <laughs> Why don't you stop backseating and help? Exactly. 
Like, that's that kind of stuff drives me wild. It's like, the dialogue for the sake of dialogue to me is not interesting. That is quite a character up close. Or revive fruits. This game is actually really generous with revive items compared to Wild Arms 1. Wild Arms 1, we got like six the whole game and that was it. Remember that chat? We got like nothing between the beginning of the game and the end of the game. It's kind of ridiculous. So I'm assuming back here is where we need to go. Oh no, look out! He looks like a tough one! They say that and you like one shot the enemy. Actually, I'll help Telepath Tower. Actually, I'll help hints or reminders be one thing, but just have me not pray their function like door. The explorer isn't really worth the time. Yeah. Sadly, there were several games that I played that have done that. I find them total turnoffs. What are these blinking boxes? That does reach and it flips the color. Oh boy. Are you, are you really gonna get me attacked while holding an item? It's just annoying. Bonk. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to reset this room. Aiming 3D objects has not been a strong point for me. Like, I can identify in some games, like third person shooters, like where to aim, but when it comes to this kind of stuff, especially with the camera angles, there's no way. I'm gonna mess it up. Right, we're getting more money to upgrade the bazooka, maybe. I'm assuming we'll come across a new weapon soon ish, but. I don't know how soon it'll be. Like, please don't attack me when I'm trying to line up. Like, is this too far? You've got- Do you see what I mean, chat? Do you see what I mean? Like, would- would you- oh, You've gotta be kidding me. I hate camera angles in this game. We're resetting. That's what I'm talking about. Like, when I looked at it, it looked lined up. Th this is why I like 2D games. I can line it up in 2D. 3D, there's some, there's always some nonsense where the camera angle is just not right. So stupid. I hate it so much, Chad, I really do. <laughs> just like, I hope there's not many puzzles where I have to throw boxes. That's all I'm saying here. Okay, that's dealt with. Just badly. Right, because, like, I don't have a sense of, like, how deep certain things are. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that at all, for sure. And it's, like, because of the camera angle, I can't see, like, the shadow, I don't see the wall, I don't have a, I don't have context for how far it is. Unfortunate. Anyway, hopefully we don't have to do many of those. Telepath Tower is a network system that uses Empathite for telepathic communication. A throw distance indicator would have been appreciated. Yeah, that also would have been fine. Does the camera change its angle and distance and say- Yeah, right? Like, it's just- It's kind of like when we were doing it before, where I'm off by like a character width. I don't know why that happens. But it has definitely happened before. Wait, over here. Where that is closed. Can't kick it down. There we go. 
there's a place. Looks like I build a bridge. I somehow gotta reach that. Pumping me for encounters. Red chest there. Okay. I almost walked off. That would have been so bad. Okay, can I just... I think I can drop down here safely. Okay. Like, was this... Was that 100% necessary? <laughs> Did I really just have to drop down for the switch and go immediately back up? Was that... Was that needed? Also, I think the problem, too, is if I'm constantly rotating the camera, unless I memorize what direction the compass was in when I entered the room, I kind of just forget where the exit is. That's why I don't like to rotate in 3D a lot. I don't mind moving in 3D, it's more like, oh, he's got better spells than we do, that's unfortunate. It's why I preferred, like, fixed angles in older games, or it always follow behind the character, so I'm not as confused. It's also sometimes, if you've noticed, when we go through, like, doorways and stuff, it will reset the compass. So the way I entered the room or area might not be the same way I exited. So it only leads to more confusion for me. <laughs> Just like... Dot 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 question mark. Yeah, so we're getting a lot of money. I think she's almost at level 9, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. At least when she hits level 9, it should be a while before she levels again. Alright, just go out the other way. So we have like a somewhat okay system to avoid encounters. But if she levels on a boss, for example, here, I don't think it really matters. There's a chest I can't attain yet. system. So, let's go see what happened in the books. Help out Tower's use. You want to read it? Sure thing. If this game suffers a lot from being on PlayStation instead of PS2, probably. Help Out Tower was designed to broadcast worldwide, so it's got world's largest empathite. Communication empathite at the broadcast location amplifies the power of the transmission. Now it's possible to use the empathite to transmit long distance to order regions not reached before. Also, empathite that used to be discarded could be reused due to more efficient use of resources. Yeah, it's definitely early 3D syndrome for sure. See a book entitled Mining Empathite? Sure. There are many mines where one can mine empathite. The famous one is Mount Eltapikios. What is this name? Sil Tolling? Silinch? <laughs> My brain is not translating this. What is S I L T O L I N G E the Lingalen? Like Sil Tolingen? Like my I wanna add like a letter in there. Yeah, it's like Silto Lingelen? Is that how you do it? Like, Murphy capitalizing it doesn't help. It's just, there's so many... I guess that's... I, I'm just trying to, like, break it up into syllables. Weird. Alias, Mount Chug Chug? How... How... Where... <laughs> okay, well, anyway, it's Mount Chug Chug now. Alias, Mount Chug Chug. It's said that the name comes from the Chug Chug sound of the mining machinery. Yeah, I want Murphy to understand it is very hard to read the I's and L's, and then we have some very goofy names on top of that. While the amount mined is low, the best and purest empathite is found here in Sun over Gaia. Man, chat, I would love to redo this font so badly. The empathite's power is determined by its size and purity. Size doubles, so does power. Purity doubles, the power triples. The large pure empathite is best. 
Currently, the most powerful empathite ever discovered is being used in Telepath Tower. Yeah, it's just like a whole bunch of letters where, like... It's like, I'll see the word, like, silt, and then I'll go, okay, that must be the first word. But then I see, like, Oli, and then I'm like, what is this? And then I'm like, okay, maybe it's, like, tolling? And then I see Ellen, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I kind of, like, I almost have to work backwards going through that name. I see a book entitled Tele Technical Communication Know-How. Want to read it? Sure. Communication technology began when a telepath mage appeared who specialized in telepathy. That's dumb. Then due to its peculiar nature, the telepath nature mage dwindled until he was replaced by the empathite. Empathites amplifies people's thoughts and has the ability to transform individual pulses. Some empathite resonating with another piece far away could be used to transmit information. <laughs> Name New York City New York City, Hong Kong City, that's something. Alright, so we're in a room that we can't progress in. Oh, there's a door here. Yeah, that's fine. But there Eventually, we might have to come back here. Lever. Don't know what that did. Did it open the other door? It came from there. It went over here, so the door was here. Okay, so that didn't do anything for us there. Okay. The door still looks closed. Let's climb the stairs chess. I'm so sad we can't activate this on a diagonal. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't open that chest on a diagonal, but I could open it sideways. 3D, please. <laughs> I, I swear to I really don't understand the interaction with some of these objects. I think this is why we're missing items. Oh, that's mean. I guess I just fall down. Oh, we just we used to descend into the abyss. Uh oh, actually maybe the other door does do something. I still never tried it. Silto Lingelen, maybe. We could go to the third floor, the fifth floor, the second or the first. At least there's a shortcut out of here. I think the floor below us had the red chest I couldn't reach. I think it was the third floor. Is either the third or second floor? Might have been the third floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I was thinking. Yeah, do you see what I mean? Like, aim please. Okay, did they- why did they call the tool booty call? Booty call is something for Bashley. Like, there's there's no way they didn't know what this meant when they translated chat. There's no way. They could have called it treasure find, like treasure call. They really called it booty call. Something for Bashley. When you use the booty call, press square and you can see all the items in a room. There are the items. The green light will indicate the location along with the sound. Uh, well, I guess I just declare booty call in the room. Wild arms, please. We could go to the fifth floor. I guess this will help with towns in case I miss some items. I noticed there are a lot less tools, but I'm also assuming there's more characters. And okay, there's just a left. Okay. Not the door I was meaning to find, but I'm glad we found it. Right, right, chat. I was like, well, did you see that? I was facing the chest and he chose to run instead of interact with it. I'm telling you, there's something not quite right with the interaction of this game. It's not me. Like, there is genuinely some absolute shenanigans going on with the hit detection. So I probably missed a lot of items that way. I wonder if this is Tarantulas are being funny or Japanese being literal. I'm not sure. There's a small piece of empathite here. It's used mainly for control and regulation and communications. I just destroy it? <laughs> right, Chad? Okay. Oh, there's a door over here. This game is wild, but I'm... Shh, exactly. I guess I'm good to go. I, with the power of mittens, I think we'll be fine. Um... 
this will top off our HP. Feels like we're due for a boss soon. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the card now. There's more switches. Oh no, we have one of these. Interesting. Alright, so I think that did that for me. I think I opened a wall up there. All I gotta do now is hit this one and I can proceed. Yeah, because I couldn't access this before, I think. One more switch than I should have. Okay, which one needs to turn off is the question. I think I was close. Okay, what did I mess up over here? So, what? This I don't think matters either way. So if I leave this up, for example, this just chooses what path I could go back to. The problem is, I don't know what else moved the walls here. What else walls? But let us get to there. Maybe this is fine. I need to get rid of the wall in between, but I don't know how to do that with our current setup. A backup switch. We have to hit this one. We have to hit this one. Honestly, not sure. No, 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 no. we need to. We need also do something that I'm not aware of? Like, what does this do other than this? Just that? Because it seems like I'm supposed to form a straight line, do you know what I mean? But the problem is this one blocks me in. Maybe I could do something like... That doesn't help you with the bottom one. I can think about this. We're pretty close. I think the problem is, like, I think I need to get to the far left one. The thing is, um, I, maybe I'm missing this thing rising and falling on the side here. I think this is mostly solved. Let me reset the room real quick. Getting an understanding what it looked like before. Maybe I just missed, like, what one of the offs looked like. Like, this is definitely needed. This is needed. And I could go here. I don't think I need to touch that one yet. Maybe this will work if I do it from this side. So we're here, and this is what I did last time. So I think up to this point is correct. The question is more, maybe because I started with the right switch I messed it up, maybe I just start with this switch. Because I didn't understand what this switch did at all, so I'm going to skip this for now. Now I'm here. So maybe now this will do something? Is that what I did wrong last time? I just hit this out of order? Oh, uh, well... Yeah, that's still not quite right. Let me undo this. I did the top one. Oh, oh, oh. I do something like this? No, that didn't open that one. Hmm. I kind of 
kind of know what it wants. Like, I think this has to be like this, but I need to be able to leave this room is the problem. Yeah, because this doesn't seem to do anything. I'm off by, like, just one. There's, like, one set of combinations where I'm missing it by one, where I have to, like, turn one on and then turn another one off. again, unless one of these switches is doing something I can't see, which is possible. Maybe this one has to be off the first time I come here. And then it'll flip when I do this? No, that doesn't help. Hmm. I think the problem more is that I just can't see the whole room. I think I'm close. I'm gonna do up to where I need to do it before, so this is definitely correct. And I got the chest. It's just from here, it gets a little fuzzy. I think I skip that one for now. And I go back here. Seems that's the worst, worst localization in the series, it's certainly something. Then I think I have to do this, so, as I said before, I feel like this is the right solution up to this point. It's just, what order I do from here, it's a little unsure. So I thought I skipped this one last time. Or is that wall moving and I'm just not seeing it because I'm off screen? Oh, okay. Now, now it's in the right order. So I, I think I just hit one of the switches out of order, sadly. Now this should do what I need it to do. Yeah, and now I could go back. Okay. I was off by one switch. I couldn't figure out which one it was. It was the... I was messing up the... I think the top right one. I was hitting number six. I think when I shouldn't have hit it at all. Equivalency. Like, we're looking at the top here. One, two, three, four. Oops. Where's that nine? I don't care. But anyway, this is this, this switch I'm talking about. Now I can hit this. Oh, and I still can't reach that other lever. Wait, how do I reach the lever? Oh, maybe I have to come back in. Maybe I have to come back in. Let's not overthink it. Let's just come back in. Maybe I just flip it. And then flip this one. Maybe this works. Oh. Hmm. Hold on. Let me think. That one doesn't help us. Uh, see, yeah, the behavior was different this time. I think that was the problem. This one was messing me up. Hmm. Well, it's not this one. Does this one open it? Oh, okay, now this one will open it. Got it. 30 treasure test takes a powerful blow to open. Pineapple acquired. Pineapple is a heavy arm used for use by Thesaurus. It delivers to an enemy a shock attack, which acts on the target's vibrations. I'm sorry, what did that mean? It acts on the target's vibration. It's a group attack. Okay, you just, you just told me it's a group attack. It's fine. Also, how, actually, bigger question. How come for his thing, he automatically learns it, but then for the other character, I'd use the item menu for that? Um... I think I just undo this, right? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, well, I got a little confused there, but that's fine. I don't think that's the game's fault. I think I just didn't notice the one switch was doing something different. The other walls were there, and I should have been tracking that a little better. That's me being bad at puzzles, so whatever. Nope, no encounters, please. Oh, I love how there's just the railing over the pit. They saw the enemy's rat jam. Yeah, something like that. So we'll probably take a little break after this, because presumably we're going to fight a boss.
What's this? It's an amplifier for something. Probably for this huge equipment. Looks like it was put on later. Maybe that shady looking guy. Hey, hey, it's starting up. Isn't this a bit dangerous? It's receiving a transmission from somewhere. That's what the amplifier must be for. Shh, it's starting. We're all a Phil guy. First, greetings to all corrupt officials who have inherited power with no qualifications. Okay, that's a start. And all the ignorant fools who have no qualms about leading degenerate lives. I am the Reform Party Odessa, leader of Vincefeld. <sighs> Rodamanthus? Rodamanthus. Welcome, Calbisham. Yeah, I am the water, apparently. It's a name worth remembering. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember it. I'm gonna break your heart right now. Let me state this at the start. Among those listening now are traitors. And that is you. <laughs> You've not averted your eyes. You'll notice the ground is full of monsters. They are impure creatures, yet no one tries to remove them. No one tries to bring peace. They just have like a television screen here? What is going on? What are they possibly projecting on in this room? I mean, the water is already ridiculous, but... Why? Because people are small, cowardly animals. Oh no, not the talk of cowards. We're having the Phoenix Wright crossover. This one who grieves the fate of Pilgaya. I say this is because of the traitors. Uh-huh. Oh man, Chad, if I die and have to sit through this cutscene again, I'm gonna lose it. Handed the land over to the monsters. How can that be allowed to happen? There are such long pauses in this cutscene, Chad. It's brutal. It's just a portrait they had? That's true. My harsh comments here should be understandable. <laughs> Says while shouting with a question mark. Again, I think the translation's a little weird. We have Odessa swear an oath. I wonder if Odessa actually means something. Because that was also used in Speak It In. Ruffle nation national system will be built by eliminating foolish national boundaries. We're fundamentally different from statesmen who only bark like dogs at banquets. Dessa means one wrathful one who receives pain. We'll start with those three countries. I guess the one who receives pain is more of the Suikoden. First we'll hammer Miria Bull, Silverland, and Guild Galad and take control. Once judgment is passed, your relative's blood will spill and you'll heal their cries. Okay. But who who can intelligently refute my resolutions? I don't know, you're just kind of broadcasting it to everybody. This is a rite of passage to make the future ours. It is a burial. Nod your head, chat. Yes. It is a burial for a new creation. I don't think of the words burial and creation in the same sentence, but anyway. For the new era, judgment will be passed on the system which carries on the old ways. I don't know why he's in the water. A good question. So while we sympathize with Odessa's ideals, come join Vinsfeld. Maybe <laughs> you bury plant seeds, maybe? blood we spill together will purify the tainted earth and form the bonds of tomorrow's Phil Gaia.
damn cutscene. You're taking a while, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> those... There are those who criticize Odessa's acts as extreme. They spout malicious gossip. We are prepared to stop it all. It's because we operate under the right principles. <laughs> I am the mirror too. Holy. The governing nation of Odessa will rise up from the rubble of the ashes and dust. This is like the world's slowest monologue chat. I'm losing it. <laughs> Welcoming the leader who promises the next era. Dot dot dot, come on. It is an honor and blessing bestowed upon you. Kind of annoying coworker jump scaring from his coffee. I think so. Clandestine broadcast. They're mocking us. It's def. I mean, clandestine is the word. It just it feels very odd in context to everything else that is said, though. <laughs> like the vo the vocabulary level level difference of that compared to what we heard earlier is very extreme. Besides the empathite transmitters, the mirrors, glass of water, we're all affected by the hijack. That's. They used the telepath tower to send their terrorist message throughout Filgaia. What's that? Oh, the command was to destroy the amplifier. Missed that. Here it comes. Oh. Mr. Wiggle and Twist is fighting us. Are we fighting like a clown? The serious phantom being, Vegista? Imagine I have like this like goofy clown hat on. Like what is that that it has on its head? I mean I'm not I'm not that far off, honestly. It does have random rainbow colors. Well, time to kill the evil clown, I guess. Take out its right claw. I'll do a normal attack here until I build meter. I don't really know if it matters what she does. You know what? Let's just defend. She's not gonna do anything. Of course it attacks her. Chat, is anyone surprised she got hard targeted? Is anybody surprised? Why do we even bother doing anything with her? She literally doesn't get to play the game. Why is she even here? So sad. Um, I guess I'll melee once so I can do the AoE attacks. Oh, does this not count as a group? I'm assuming it does because it says A, so that it should just hit everybody here. I'm gonna guard again. Face the pain bow? I think so. <laughs> what is this? She's she's never gonna get other turn, chat. Okay, let's build meter since you refused to attack other people so I could build meter. Time to pineapple him, I guess. Oh. So even though it said A, they're not in the same group? What's... What? What's the... What is it consider a group if the letter A doesn't designate they're in the same group? Am I missing something? Why doesn't that hit all the parts? Whatever. Oh, no, no, no. That was almost really bad. I wanted uh, lock on here. I mean, I might as well just defend with her. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe maybe I should just sell all the armor on every other character and give it to her, because they clearly don't care about the other characters. Sadly, I think this will hit his chest versus other claw. I mean, we have to hit his body eventually. That did a lot of damage. Left claw. We'll do another melee hit. If only they targeted me with damn. Oh, what? What is this? Is this actually RNG or does the game only target Vicky? Like, this is ridiculous. It's like, at this point, it's like, I, I might as well just let her die, to be honest with you, chat. Like, let's not even bother with these other things at all. Melee again. 
If she gets targeted again. Okay, finally. Just something else that might hit another party member. Maybe. I mean, does it matter if I get diseased if it only attacks one character? I don't think it matters. Hopefully this kills the arm. There we go. Oh, we broke his arms. The target's lowest HP, she always lowest. She's low level and low HP, so who knows. I mean, I'm not gonna bother. I mean, I might as well just heal with her on herself now, because even if she gets hit here, it doesn't matter. Is he healing? He did heal himself, okay. Well, I already injured him pretty heavily, so I don't think he'll take that much longer to kill. But anyway, we'll just have her go back to guarding, I guess. He'll probably be dead in like two more turns, tops. I don't know if it's even worth using a spell. This bazooka just completely out damages everything. But sadly, it doesn't have any accuracy. I mean, I guess I'll do. I'll use Dango's spell once. He's a beat chill for bosses, maybe. Oh no, he's rainbowing. Did he eat a Starman for Mario? Oh, he did. Oh, that's annoying. The one time I have her do something, <laughs> she gets countered. Unless this goes through it. No. Well, I guess we play the game of do I get RNG'd out of my attack? Cool. It's a stalling heal boss. That's annoying. Get bonked. This is probably gonna miss, because I wasn't allowed to build meter. Oh, it looked like it hit at that time. I mean, I might as well just try to hit with multi-blast, but the odds of landing it are pretty slim. Man, this boss is super stally. Alright, let's use Dango again. It seems to no longer be targeting. I'll take any damage I could get here. Alright, so I think it's almost dead at least. We'll go for Bazooka. Dango again. Woods and Bubble. I'm not even gonna bother healing. I think it matters. Shit, <laughs> genuine. Oh, plus he's immune to poison. Actually, joke's on him. I think he's actually immune. I think he has the Moonstone on. Okay, he's probably, I was gonna say, probably close to dead. Dango did one bit of damage. It saved us a bullet. 1200 XP, so this should level us. Hopefully she doesn't hit level 10. She just hit level 9, that's so sad. We got two lucky cards. I could upgrade the arms again, which I probably want to do. So sadly, even though the boss is in the same group, it doesn't hit the whole boss. You can't just do nothing. Let's return to Damsen and explain the situation to the engineers of Telepath Tower. Okay. Well, I guess if the boss actually did anything other than spam normal attacks on her, maybe disease would have been annoying to deal with? Maybe. I mean, I don't even think I cure it before I go back. Enemies physically can't damage me. Unless they do, like, that ridiculous, like, two-thirds health attack or whatever that is. Otherwise, it just takes zero from literally everything. And I'm not even, like, aggressively buying items for defense either. Where is the door? Oh, it's over here. Let's see if this gets rid of status ailments. Because in the first Wild Arms, it was kind of annoying that they split the in and the status ailment cure. Alright, so they, they got rid of that. That was a good decision. I did not like that in Wild Arms 1. 
I guess I'll very briefly go to the personal skill shop, and then we'll pause for today. Also, why does the personal skill shop not have a sign, by the way? D do they anger somebody in the town? Should be good there. Yeah, I could make them tankier if I really want to. I think we're good. Yeah, let's save here. I guess I could report in and see what they say about what just, what just happened. This villain, Dessa could still be nearby. Once you tamper with the telepath tower, you need to track them down right away. Uh, we'll leave that for next time, I think. talk about I guess how we feel about the game so far so here's what we learned the translation is definitely awkward there's some things where we, we really question how much of it is the original script how much of it is uh, the translators having a little fun I think one of those things is definitely the definitely booty call. That is a choice to name your item that, I suppose. Some of the dialogue between the characters seems fine. Some of them seem to just kind of awkwardly respond to people. Like there, it's not it's not very natural in the way that it's being said. Like it it. It makes enough sense that I understand what's going on, but there's definitely some roughness with some of the translations. Mostly so far with things like the Warden, or things like... Even even the other guy's speech was kind of odd. Um, to some extent. It's not, like, enough that I am confused as to what is happening. It's just, like, mostly word choice versus being pure nonsense. Yeah, it's mostly just word choice. So I guess overall, like, we did unlock AoE weapons, which is good. I'm happy we got that today. Um, the weird slang, that's true. I think from the standpoint of upgrades, so far the magic user feels kind of useless. <laughs> like, like, I know in Wild Arms 1, magic wasn't, like, the end-all be-all for a little bit, but she feels super bad, chat. <laughs> like, it just... Like, I have basically not used spells with her at all, and we're... We're basically in... I would at least say, at least out of the tutorial, like, we're in the beginning of the game, but we're out of tutorial land. And, like, honestly, like, her damage is really low. She just has bad defense, bad HP. She doesn't kill anything with auto attacks. And with the system requiring her to build the gauge, it's like... I can't really do any of her best abilities at all, so it's like, the only minor advantage she might have is like completely terrible compared to the other characters. And she also seems to be getting super hard focused, like is that, is that just some of the worst RNG we have ever seen to see a boss hit the same character five times in a row? Or is that intentional? Like, she did end up lower level, but it's not from dying, and it's not from skipping battles, it's just that... She literally didn't get as many XP opportunities in her solo adventure compared to the protagonist. And then the third character came in and came at the same level as the protagonist. So she's kind of forever behind. It's not like the Wild Arms one where she died like once or twice and that put her behind. It's just like the other character has gotten so hilariously far ahead that like maybe in like a couple levels they'll even out a bit more. But... She went from being, I think, three or four levels behind to just one level behind. But at this point, it is kind of annoying with, like, how HP up is set up and things like that. Read what Dango says. I'm confused as to why he kept appearing in the most random places. Well, clearly, as they said, he just, he hijacked the water. That's a thing, apparently. 
some windows, reading up online, some prosaic metaphorical things are translated literally. Some things just don't are not translated correctly in several places, context is heavily removed. Yeah, it does feel like some of that, as I said before. Like it, even like the use of the word burial, and like it feels like it is meant to be a metaphor, and it sounds very literal, so I would agree, especially with his speech. I, I can't speak to the some, some things are not translated correctly. There, uh, other than when we've seen awkwardness where they seem to be answering their own questions. Like, I think I understand what they were going for, but there is, like, not... I don't know. It's a little odd. So, yeah. It is unfortunate for what it is. Uh, combat is okay. It... I, I think overall I don't like the changes to the force system because of how bad it screws over the magic user to the point where I honestly don't understand why this character is in the party. Like, like dead serious, I don't understand why she's here. She can't do anything. I, I would not really lose anything other than a face tank. Like, I might as well just buy her nothing but armor because she is not going to kill anything at any point. And until she gets, like, AoEs... She's kind of useless. Like, think about it this way, chat. Like, the other character at least had, like, limited AoE by this point in the game. Like, within the first couple of crests, I had the ability to do, like, I think it was called Valkyrie, but we called it, like, Kirk++. Plus Plus. Like, we even had, um, I think a Parameter had the AoE targeted elemental attack. So... It feels like she just got, like, hard nerfed in between games. And it feels super bad. Maybe you should rename her to Meat Shield? Maybe. But she is doing nothing, chat. Like, honestly, she's the item dispenser at best. She's kind of like what the definition of White Mage is, if... Also, I don't even need healing. I think that's the problem, too. Like, my other two characters are basically, for all intents and purposes, immortal. Because they have defense and levels. Like, at, like, I just beat an entire boss battle without using a healing item, other than on her, because her defense is terrible. If they targeted any other character, I wouldn't even have healed. Like, think of it that way, Chad. Think about how bad that is. And again, like, she can't do anything the first two, like, round or two in combat anyway. So she either has to attack or has to be the target. So it just inherently is terrible for her. So at some point when she's high enough level to cast basic spells, she'll still be far enough behind that when I get AoE, I still won't have a use for her. Because most combat should be over in a turn. Do you know what I mean, chat? Especially now that I have like two different characters with AoEs, they just completely outclass her. It's like no contest. They are just so much better than her in every single way. Higher HP, higher response, way higher overall DPS. Like, she can't compete with Bazooka on bosses. And she does better, and the other characters do better damage in, in normal encounters because she can't cast her main spell. So unless the combat goes on for like four turns, she's not really gonna com be competitive with them at all. So it is kind of disappointing how bad she is, to be honest. So I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll give her a, a pity item because even with the magic boost, she's kind of bad. And again, it's inherent to the system, where because she doesn't start with the boost to the force points, uh, compared to some of the other characters, it's just kind of bad. Um, Umi is just wrong three times over the original text later, so like, please let me get out of my Oh my gosh. Even that was used, it was read as the Musen. There's so many instances of lower for translations. Oh, I think we had that earlier. Oh, is that what that's supposed to mean? Yeah, I think that happened last session, right, chat? Didn't one of them just declare Namumi randomly? I swear that did happen earlier, Murphy. Because you say that, and that actually looks familiar to me. I got very confused with it. It was one of the soldiers in the base in one of the intros said that for some reason. So yeah, there's definitely some awkwardness with the dialogue. But sadly, chat, I do gotta go. So we'll continue. I, I'm kind of on the fence with it. I definitely don't like the feel of the dungeons for the most part because of the fact that encounter rate is still kind of high unless you skip the encounters. And on top of that, it's a lot of 3D puzzles where the camera is really weird. 
Yeah. I mean, we saw that with the boxes. Me throwing that, that was so ridiculous. Or like trying to interact with like basic things. Yeah, it's just like, it's just some weird kludginess with the 3D where like things either do or do not interact with you on a diagonal. And then sometimes you saw I was literally lined up with the person and I was like a fifth of a character step off and they will not talk to me. But if I move just even slightly, even though I'm basically toe to toe with them, then they'll talk to me. And there's stuff like that where I've probably missed items that way because of the fact where I'm like not exactly lined up like pixel perfect. It gets mad at me. So it, it is like weirdly restrictive there. But anyway, I think that's all for now, Chan. I gotta go out, unfortunately. So we're gonna say goodbye to YouTube and the stream this time. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time. But for people on the stream, I'd also like to say thank you again for watching as well. And hopefully you have a good day or a good night, depending on the time zone.